Hi viewers, welcome back to Pharmacon Tutorial. The topic for today's session is Endocrine Pharmacology Part 1 that includes Introduction to Hormones, Its Function, Classification and Mechanism of Action. So let's get started. The metabolic effects of different systems of the body is controlled by autonomic nervous system and secretions of endocrine glands. Glands are part of body which secretes chemical substances which includes hormones and enzymes. Glands are of two types endocrine and exocrine. Endocrine gland secretes hormones which are directly released into the bloodstream. Exocrine gland secretes enzymes that flow via duct. There are some glands which act as both endocrine and exocrine and these are called mixed glands for example pancreas. This figure shows various glands in human. Hypothalamus located at forebrain connects endocrine gland to brain and they regulate body temperature, thirst and hunger. And the second gland it is the pituitary gland which is known as a master gland and it is situated at base of the brain which secretes growth hormone, sex hormone and regulates milk production in pregnant women. Both hypothalamus and pituitary gland function cooperatively as master regulators of the endocrine system. The next gland is the thyroid gland and this is the largest endocrine gland which regulates mental, physical, sexual development of human. Next is the adrenal gland which is situated at the cortex of the kidney and secretes adrenaline. This pancreas it is a mixed gland which acts as both endocrine and exocrine gland and secretes insulin and glucagon. Testis secretes testosterone which is a male sex hormone and ovary secretes estrogen and progesterone. Endocrinology deals with hormone secretion, hormone action, their feedback control mechanism and treatment of endocrine disorders. Hormones are chemical messengers synthesized by endogenous glands and secreted directly into the blood circulation. The term hormone is derived from Greek phrase meaning to set in motion which describes the dynamic action of hormone. So drugs as replacement therapy are used to mimic or attenuate the effect of specific hormones during endocrine dysfunction. Moving on to the functions, the significant functions of hormones include maintenance of growth and differentiation, maintenance of homeostasis, regulation of energy balance and metabolism, reproduction and species propagation. Next about the classification of hormones. Hormones can be classified chemically as well as based on their solubility in water. Chemically, hormones are classified into seven classes which includes amino acid derivatives, neuropeptides, simple proteins, large proteins, glycoproteins, steroids and vitamins. The water soluble hormones include amine and peptide and the lipid soluble hormones include thyroid hormones, steroid hormones and vitamin T3. Interactions between hormones may lead to synergistic effect, permissive effect and antagonistic effect. When two or more hormones work together to produce a particular result, their effect is said to be synergistic. And they are of two types, additive and complementary. Same effect of the hormone on one target organ is called additive, for example epinephrine and norepinephrine on heart rate. When work on different stages of a physiological process occur, it is called complementary, for example FSH and testosterone on spermatogenesis. The effect of hormone is said to be permissive effect when it enhances the responsiveness of a target organ to the second hormone. For example, is in case of estrogen. Overexpression of progesterone receptors on uterus by estrogen is an example. Then third one is the antagonistic effect. In some situation, the action of one hormone will antagonize the effect of another. Lactation during pregnancy is prevented because the high concentration of estrogen in the blood inhibits the action of prolactin and hence the milk secretion.
Hormone receptors. Hormone receptors are of three classes. They include membrane receptors, cytosolic receptors and nuclear receptors. These membrane receptors are again classified into G protein coupled receptors, tyrosine kinase receptor, cytokinin receptor and serine kinase receptor. Once hormone reaches a responsive cell, they bind with the receptor in the cell membrane or inside the cell. Receptors may be upregulated when there are low levels of hormone or downregulated when there are excessive amount of hormone. Many hormones act as first messenger to the cell and the hormone receptor complex activates a secondary messenger. The secondary messenger then activates intracellular structure to produce characteristic cellular functions and products. In this figure, you can see various sites of actions of hormone on cell membrane. Site 1 and site 3 are G protein coupled receptors, whereas site 2 it is a tyrosine kinase receptor. The various secondary messengers here are cyclic AMP, diacylglycerol, inositol triphosphate, and calcium. These secondary messengers activate various enzymes like protein kinase, and these enzymes phosphorylates the proteins and produces physiological effect. Here I have included few more points regarding secondary messenger system which I have already depicted in the earlier pic. Cyclic KMP is the secondary messenger for many hormones including corticotropin, glucagon, TSH, FSH and LH. The cyclic AMP is formed as a result of the action of enzyme adenylcyclase on ATP. Once formed, the cyclic AMP activates reactions that alter cell function. Some hormones activate cell membrane receptors and transform them into phospholipase C, which is an enzyme that causes some of the phospholips in the cell membrane to split into smaller molecules. Inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol are the smaller molecules which are formed as a result of splitting of the phospholipids and which act as the secondary messenger to intracellular structures. This inositol triphosphate mobilizes intrac intracellular calcium ions which fulfill their function as secondary messengers. And the second molecule that is the diacylglycerol activates an enzyme protein kinase C that is important in cell reproduction. Calcium is the secondary messenger for gonadotropin releasing hormone. This hormone binds to receptors to increase intracellular calcium and the calcium binds to which an intracellular protein called the calmodulin. This calcium calmodulin complex activates protein kinases which regulates various functions like contractile structure of the cell, cell membrane permeability, intracellular enzyme activity and even specific effects include contraction of the smooth muscle and changes in secretions. And finally moving on to steroid hormones. The mechanism of steroid hormones is that it binds to the receptor protein on the chromatin. This lipid soluble hormones diffuses through plasma membrane and hormones bind with receptor in the cytoplasm which forms a receptor hormone complex. This receptor hormone complex enters the nucleus and trigger gene transcription. This transcripted messenger RNA is translated into proteins that alter the cell activity. So this is all about the basic concepts of hormones.